Okay, we're on. Okay, we're on here. Hold on. We, we got the Monday, Mr. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Monday, and here we go. Hi, that's, uh, <laughs> I'd like to say that's an old uh, friend of mine. But, uh, he's one of my racing heroes. Uh -huh. uh, the Rebel Frank, the Rebel Monday. Not your customer here? No, uh, Will is one of my heroes also. Okay, yes. all right. I want to yeah, get that straight. Excel or tuna cell, always the full slot. Okay. But uh, Frank Monday, uh, Frank Monday needed no aromatherapy after a, a tough day at the track. Uh, he brought, you know, just go out and well, whatever he did. Uh, I brought my uh, my race cars down the other day. When okay. We got, uh, talking about Tim Flock and right. his uh, monkey that rolled with him uh, several races, I think in 1950. What was his name? We uh, Tim Tim Flock, and his monkey's name was Jocko Flocko. Jocko Flocko. Yeah, yeah. He rode in the car until he got loose and started biting Tim in the neck, and they had to uh, get him out of the car. And they reined him in. That was the end of a monkey in a race car. But anyway, it prompted uh, me digging out my. Uh, my racers that I built several years ago. Right, can you take them out as you yeah, describe? Yeah, let, let me take a couple out and uh, just show you these two here, the two okay. black ones. These oh, are like in a the light. That's a 58? This is a 58 uh, Pontiac yeah. and a 58 Ford. Interesting. Uh, Curtis Turner and Paul Goldsmith. And uh, those of us who are fortunate enough to have seen the race on a, a video, I don't, I, I wasn't there live. Uh, but well, I, they, a, I think they can turn off the fan for a second. Oh, okay, hold on. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful sounding fan, let me tell you. Yeah, uh, yeah this was the, this was the car that won the last beach uh, race at Which Daytona. One? This is Pontiac okay. here. But uh, Curtis Turner put on a, a valiant uh, effort at the end to try to... He was an amazing guy. Yes, he, uh, he held the the, uh, uh, the pedal to the metal. And he didn't let... Either he won or he blew up the car. Yeah. He also uh, never had aromatherapy. Very true. He uh, put his plane into a mountainside. Fact, I think. None of these guys did. Uh, anyway, I, I built these cars uh, to commemorate some. How long ago did you do this? Uh, several years ago, okay. maybe. Eight so this years is ago. this isn't when you were a kid. This no, was... I built these as an adult. I found these at a model car show. Uh, they had been. They were called builts. They had right. already been built uh -huh. uh, in rough condition, only two two dollars a piece. Wow. And they're the uh, Cadillac. Yeah, perfect for uh, building uh, old race cars. What's the deal on the Cadillac? This is a Buick. This Buick. Is, a lot of people don't oh, think of a 58 yeah. Buick as a race car. But, uh, I wouldn't have don't tell that. Fireball Roberts that. He, Fireball, uh, Roberts. Fireball he, Roberts. He went out in a Fireball, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he uh, uh, died after a, a few days in the hospital after a real bad crash in Charlotte in 64. But this is one of the cars he drove in the 50s. and. Uh, I decorated it just like it was in that uh, last beach race in huh. 58. What happened, they went to uh, the new track uh, the year after the beach uh, just couldn't handle the power of, the, of these cars. They were just getting too, too powerful. Not just the beach, but the highway as well. Uh, here's an interesting car. Uh, this is the only Etzel ever uh, to run in NASCAR. Uh, I, I've never seen a picture of it, I'm just guessing as to what uh, it looked like. It's, the fellow's name was Paul Bass, and I made up things, see your Etzel dealer. The future is now. now. I noticed in your car book that Etzel was a very powerful car when it came stock. They had a very powerful yeah, they, engine. Yeah, well this one had a 300 horse engine, just like the Ford did. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, this car here, uh, it's a, a Texan, Shorty Rollins drove this car. This was in the first Daytona 500. Is that a Thunderbird or something? No, no, this is a 58 Ford. Okay. Look at this baby. Wow. And uh, I, I only saw just bits of this in, the, in a film. You could see how it was painted. Right. And uh, it was number 99. I found that neat uh, Longhorn uh, decal for it. I thought right. that looked good on there. And uh, he was from a Corpus Christi, or well, that's his sponsor anyway. But, right. And uh, these convertibles didn't do too well on the big, big uh, track. Think there's too much drag with the. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Probably. There's Buck Baker. Uh, Is that also a '58? That's or? a '58 Chevy. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I just made up the the sponsor, but I put it from PD South Carolina. Hockey wasn't sponsored by the Red Rose. And then zero. Yeah, no, Hooter Gap. See, I made that town up. Okay. That's not a real town. <laughs> And uh, this is Richard Petty's first car that uh, he raced at Daytona at the first one. Richard mile. Petty. Now, yeah. is that, is that, Lee was the father, right? Yeah, this was one of Lee's old cars All right. that he let his boy drive. Okay. And his nickname back then, I don't know if you can pick I it up. I can't pick that up. Yeah, his, name, his nickname then was Squirrel. Squirrel. Was, right. He was not the king yet. All right. Uh, but this was his first ride. This, 
Well, he may have driven something around the short track. Okay. First, first big race he was in, and he blew this up, I think, after about, I don't know, six laps or 18, I can't remember. Okay. But there is a video of this coming into the pits, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty That's, that's what men are men. Men? Yeah. 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 And, uh, is that 55 or 56 Ford? What about 99? Well, 99, Curtis Turner uh, used 99 a lot. Uh, this car here, now this is a later model kit that, uh, oh no, I glued them shut. I don't know if you can see inside. I, I cut, really, I cut but, the. But tell uh, us what it's about. Well, it's all, you know, this has been really built like a race right, car. Rotate it around it's so it's got the It's around. got the header pipes. Okay. And this one even has a motor under the hood, see? Right. And uh, the other ones don't. Now have Curtis that. Turner drove that, and that's either 55 or 56. That's a 56 Ford. Okay. And uh, I changed it to the cheap model, put the put the different trim on it. Okay. And th this is a decal set you could buy right. to make this car. It was a great car. This car won the uh, 56 Southern 500. Hmm. He beat all the Hemi's. Wow. Left them in the dust. How could that be? But well, the, Curtis Turner was driving. I thought the Hemi was the thing of the future. The, the Hemi won almost all the races that year, but not not that one. And this is one of Fireball Roberts cars. Now, what year is that? That's a '56. It is also a '56. Yeah. Okay. With the uh, cover and. Right. Yeah, I didn't do a very good What's job. That, tarnu? Tarno or I never, tarnu I never or? could pronounce pronounce that word. Okay. It's like wainscot. I don't know how to say that either. Well, we got to well, get. There's two two uh, Curtis Turner cars in there. He drove this one at '56. This one in. Uh, oh, where's the other '99? Oh yeah, Shorty Rollins also. Now you used to race too, right? I mean, you used to race drag. I, I had a drag car in the '60s. Okay. Yes. Okay. Man from Glad. Man from Glad. Yeah. You've just been bagged. Well, we have, we owe you a visit down to your Yellow Rose or the uh, Spud, uh, Spud Boys. Spud is coming Boys. along. We haven't been there in quite a while, and I have Val here with me now. We're okay. putting we'll, up uh, we'll get, ceiling panels. Maybe we'll get down there tomorrow or something when you get. I hope so. It's we'll, going to be covered soon. I know. Got to get it before <laughs> it's finished. But that's an amazing um, project you did, and uh, we're all proud of you. Well, I, I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Well, uh, we're, now we're on to do uh, Spencer's. Um, okay, video. good. Oh, Spencer. yeah. Well, you'll be out in the country there, yeah. out at uh, uh, at a Roof Acres. At a Roof Acres, <laughs> and here's his uh, Spencer. You want to get your trophy down real quick? We got time to include it in this one. You just won this a couple days ago. Yeah. And it was Owego, or Oswego? Owego. And it says Champion Speedway 2008. John F. Stalma, U.S. Open Championship, first place. Yep. So congratulations, and you're 12 years old, and you're doing all this. God bless you. Be careful. Take care. We'll see you in a while.